Hello. In the last video, we learned how uh, we can use the word optional to find data that may or may not exist in our dataset. And we learned actually that when we used this query here and said uh, select first, last, work till, and use these conditions uh, or these uh, uh, graph patterns inside our where graph pattern, that this way we can only get back individuals who have telephone numbers and that's quite easy to do that's straightforward to do the query number is 55 we'll just run it uh, 55 see what happens so it give us back only uh, 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 Richard right who the only one who has a telephone number in our data set well what if we want the opposite of this what if we want to have back in the first name the last name of individuals who don't have uh, uh, work telephone numbers um, and it turns out that Sparkle and the version we're using here is 1.1 which is uh, the latest version according to my knowledge at least in this time you know at least now uh, in early 2014 there's more than one way of doing this so here just to repeat this we filtered and we got back individuals who have telephone numbers what if we want to get back telephone individuals who don't have telephone numbers i.e. Richard and Cindy and as we said Sparkle 1.1 uh, has more than one way of doing it and to start off let's use or let's learn about the not exists uh, pattern and you know, the name suggests it or the name says it all what we're doing here is we're saying that give me first name last name where you know I'm using a temporary variable here s again or he is using rather not me uh, uh, f uh, you know it has a property first name place it in first property last name place it in last finish now and what I'm going to do here is uh, what he's he's saying here is that, is that um, he's saying that make sure that there is no work tell property or that property is not there so the name is saying it all no not exist that for this pattern here for this individual or for this pattern here remember that we said there's an imaginary and logical and here so for this pattern here make sure that there is no work tell property yes and what that what that what, what, what do, that will do is it will filter out anyone who has this property and the proof is if I remove this let me just execute it let me remove this first save it now we'll have three individuals back remember it's actually property 067 so I'll just execute it 67 I'm sorry not property uh, query 67 067 if I execute it I get the three ones back yeah Craig Cindy and Richard but if I leave that and say you know make sure that it does not this property does not exist in the result set then what I do is I run it again and it give me back Cindy and Richard without uh, Craig because Craig is the one who has work telephone number I hope that makes sense so that's what way number one or method number one of doing it of sort of querying for data that doesn't meet certain conditions yes so the opposite of the one we had here when we said you know, give me back only the ones who have work telephone numbers the second way of doing it is using the filter uh, graph pattern or the filter keyword and the filter again says it all so what we do here is we say uh, give me back in first name and last name of this temporary s which has first name I place it in first last name placed in, in last and I'm saying here optional yes uh, give me back the work telephone number and pl place it maybe on work num and then what I am saying here is uh, what, uh, what he is saying again I keep repeat, I, I keep saying I'm saying uh, uh, because this book is not mine so what he's saying here what Rob is saying here is that filter ie filter out uh, and he's using the function bound the function bound what it does is it checks whether this variable has been bound or actually binds to a, to a value or not so if work num has a value bound will be true if it doesn't have a value, if it doesn't have anything from the from from from, from the uh, from the uh, data set, then it will be false. But he's saying there, he is actually negating it. So if not bound, yeah. So if this variable is not bound, then filter using that. 
I hope that makes sense. So bound returns true if work number is there, if work telephone is there. Yeah? And what we, what he's saying here, bring me the opposite of that. Let me show you what this means. So let's remove it first and then run query number 65. Let's remove it first and see what happens. So query 65, it brings me back, you know, first name and last name of everyone. If, optional remember, if work telephone number is there, get it, otherwise don't get it. Now, if I say filter, and I'm only using using bound now, so filter, and make sure that, you know, the work num is bound to a certain value, i.e. the individual has a work telephone number. If I save it and execute what I expect to get now, I expect to get Craig now because Craig is the only one who has a telephone number. Run it, I get Craig back, but wait, what we can say now is actually give me the opposite of that, so negate that, save it, and then we run it and we get back the other two now, which don't have or who don't have telephone numbers. That's the second way of doing it. The third way, however, of doing it is maybe using the uh, the, the minus keyword or the minus uh, 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 um, graph pattern. And again, the name again says it all. By minus, what it's doing here is that it's getting the result set and then subtracting any uh, results which have work telephone number. Yeah, subtracting any results which have work telephone number. We run it with and without. Let's do it without first, just to show you again. This is number 68. So let's run 68. What it's doing now, it gives me all the results back. But what we are saying here is that remove any ones which have uh, the work telephone number there. So with the work number here, this variable here will be set. And this only obviously where applies for Craig because he's the only one who has work telephone number. So again, minus, i.e. remove that or remove any pattern that meets that, any one that has work num set, i.e. the work num bound to a certain value of work telephone number. I keep repeating myself, I don't know why, but just to reiterate and make things uh, and make sure things are clear. So if, if we apply this now, remember, we're saying remove that, minus, i.e. remove it, subtract it, execute that, and it will remove Craig because Craig is the only one who will have the work number or the work num variable bound to the work telephone, which is this. I hope this makes sense, nice and easy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.